Hello there, and welcome to the UWL Open Day. Thank you for joining us virtually. Um, I'd like to tell you a bit more today about BA Music Technology. I am the course leader uh, for this program. My name is Sam Sutton, and uh, I'll dive straight in. So our flagship music technology course offers practical production skills, extensive studio facilities and classes delivered by industry active lecturers, allowing you to really fine tune your craft. The course is structured around three pathways or disciplines, music technology, audio post-production and live sound, to allow you to really specialize within your chosen field to get you industry ready. As a student on this course, you'll also have unique, unique access to one of the largest studio complexes in Europe. The course overview is based on a combination of expertise across the different music technology areas, landscapes, with a focus on employability. You'll develop the practical and critical skills required to succeed in this competitive industry. It offers, the course offers collaborative opportunities so as a music technology student, you'll be working alongside actors doing voiceovers, theatre students doing live sound, film students creating soundtracks, game students creating sound and music for games, performance students opportunities as well. The course has a real future facing philosophy, which will allow you to embrace the ever changing, rapidly evolving industry of music and sound. After graduating, You'll be equipped with the expertise to deliver industry grade work in a wide range of disciplines that include audio post, live sound, composition, studio recording technology, video game audio and beyond. So it's our aim that we really immerse you in an industry style setting whilst you're at uni. So having gone through all these experiences and building up the skill set within this academic context, by the time you leave, you're really ready to face the industry with a skill set that's going to make you really valuable to the potential employers. You can also complete the study as a foundation year, uh, as a four year degree to get you ready for the degree if you if you require to do that. Now we also have an extensive studio facility um, with the link being provided below here. Now, I appreciate that this is quite a long link. So if you are to Google UWL Studios, You'll, you'll come up with this link more than likely. Okay, so here we are on the music technology facilities. Now, one of the things that graduates, uh, applicants are most keen to see is the technology and the facilities that we offer. So let's dive straight in. You can see there's an overview of our 18 professionally designed studios, including the Paragon Annex Studios, including 5.1 Surround and Stereo. And then if we go to the bottom here, you can see that we have Mac Labs to enable students to have hands-on experience in lectures. And we also have uh, professional studio environments for students to learn whilst in lectures to allow them to really get the hands-on that they're looking for. In terms of live sound, you can see that Lawrence Hall is well equipped to allow music technology students to collaborate with theatre students, actors, fashion students, and, and beyond. And that gives them an opportunity to really get industry experience in a professional setting in, a, in, an, in an active venue uh, whilst at uni, which is a really unique opportunity, which I'm sure a lot of you would enjoy. We've also got a virtual studio tour here, which is rather interesting. So for example, if we go to Paragon Annex Studios, we can click here and we've got a nice little video you can watch, or you can also just have a little look around, which is rather cool. This is Studio 2, with the live room, and so on and so forth. We've got Studio 3, and you can see lots of nice gear to be looking at. Vestry Hall, Studio 1, nice big studio space. You can, you can see the surround uh, set up in there rather well. And so take your time, have a look, come and visit our virtual studio tour, see what we've got on offer here. Um, and please get in touch if you've got any questions, but I know that's something that I think most of you would be keen to see. So I was also keen just to let you know a little bit more about myself as the course leader. Uh, I'm also a professional composer and sound designer. So here's a little sort of selection of work that I've uh, done recently, some stuff for Netflix, some stuff for the World Cup. There's a mic advert in this, so on. So it's nice to know that you're gonna be uh, taught by lecturers who are actually active practitioners at the coalface doing it for real and so they can bring that experience into the classroom. Here's a, here's a look at 
some of my uh, output in terms of recorded music as well. So studio based productions, and a lot of this music is used across TV, film and games. It's worth touching on some of our uh, graduate success. You can see uh, Tom here won a Golden Reel Award for Best Sound for a short film picture here, which we were rather pleased to see. Here he is accepting his award. Similarly, so Tom Williams winning his BAFTA last year for Best Sound on Killing Eve, which was a fantastic achievement. Nice to see students going through the process of um, studying with us and then making their own mark and um, bringing something back and really making a success for themselves. You can see that we've got our online booking system here to allow you to uh, take advantage of our vast selection of equipment, including microphones, instruments, uh, to really kind of make the most of your studio time. And that's um, all bookable online to make that as simple as possible uh, for, your, for your studio time and beyond. Um, in terms of networking opportunities, we also have a relationship with the Met Film School, whereby we provide music and sound for their productions so that's a speed dating style event where we have students from uwl and the met film school getting together to produce fantastic pieces of work and that normally culminates in a cinematic uh, screening at somewhere like somewhere like leicester square at the prince charles cinema whereby students get an opportunity to see their work on the big screen which has worked fantastically well and something that we're very proud of here there's also an opportunity for the music tech students to work with classical musicians. So you can see here there's a six piece string arrangement uh, whereby students have composed work and then they're bringing in the classical students. And as a large functioning creative hub, um, it allows us to collaborate and combine with music tech students, with orchestral students, with actors, as I've been saying. So this is something which is really special and at the heart of what we offer here. It's a short film which was um, commissioned into a feature film here uh, via one of our networking opportunities. In this case, we've got a professional brief that was provided by Loaded Production Music for our students to produce library tracks on a real world brief basis. So although they're studying within a university environment, we're always looking to give them professional opportunities and allow them to network within the industry. And that's very much at the heart of what we do from industry active practitioners, state of the art equipment, and cutting edge technology. So really creating that rounded creative experience. So giving you a really holistic introduction and grounding in music technology to allow you to leave with industry, industry ready skills and uh, applied technologies. So we look forward to um, welcoming you here to the University of West London. Um, feel free to get in touch if you've got any questions at all. And uh, we can't wait to see you here next September. Hello, I'm Neil Hurd. I head up live sound operations at LCN. Let's have a look at what we get up to. Not technically someone singing at LCN, Billy Holiday, back in the 60s, but using the traditional Shure 55 microphone, which any sound presentation has to feature by law. Here's some of our slightly more up-to-date folks singing down some of our hardware with our students making it louder. So we'll look at how live sound progressed from these crazy days to the uh, more modern, sleek, uh, possibly less exciting world that we live in now. Yes, we've gone digital, we are fully digital, and don't forget that you'll always need to be able to do this. And the other contractual obligation picture, and of course a tiny bit of physics. Some more students performing, a whole forest of microphones making them louder, all good. Ah, singing and dancing with radio mics attached. No technical challenge there at all. And we're back to the beginning. I grew up in Florida, downloading beats off the internet, rapping off them, putting them up online. I wanted to stop doing that. I wanted to make my own beats, record vocalists. So obviously I didn't have the tools or the knowledge to be able to do that. So I decided music tech. I mean, specialist is a com combination of things. So you've got the real technical side of things. Then you've got the network with all the other people around uni. I've got singers to come in. I've got pianist, I've got guitarist. I've got my whole orchestra just there on hand. And I think that's why I chose it. Because the course is so broad, it kind of encompasses everything. So it's kind of like 
producing, mixing, recording, kind of helping people write, helping people produce their own stuff, whilst at the same time doing a lot of sound design, live sound, theatre sound, kind of everything you could possibly want. So there's, there's a lot of different subjects and modules. The main ones, I would say, are the live sound practice, which is hands-on, and you're doing almost placements, because it's London College of Music, mixing things live. Um, sound theory, which is your mixing, your mastering, and all the technical skills you need to be able to bring uh, a soundtrack or a song to the industry standard. And also film, so that goes from soundtracks, composition, to ADR and editing dialogue for film without the access to everything. I think we worked out my recording project would have cost me about 200 grand had it not been here. So with all the mics, all the musicians, I'd have had to have hired them, was able to record them in facilities that are very hard to come by unless you're going to like Abbey Road. Most of my lecturers, I think they're all working in their fields. I mean, they've all got their own websites. I can go to their website, check out what they're doing. Even after I graduate, I'm still in contact with them now. Um, anything I do, if I'm doing a mix, I can send it over to my lecturers and say, how is it, how does it sound? Just hop on and you'll, you'll love it all the way through. I mean, and you'll learn so much. When you're finished with it, you'll feel more confident and you'll be able to chase your dreams. <laughs>